Ratchet sex. <laughs> Ratchet sex, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. No, I don't know what you're saying. Welcome back to Captain's Whoopsie. Quirks. Whoopsie. Hit the wrong button there. <laughs> Welcome back to Captain's Quirks Physical Fitness Guide. Welcome back to slapping, uh, scrimping the uh, horn. Ch- s- scrapping chaps. Scrip. So, Billy. Yes. How, how are you? Are you are you wet down there? Do you douche? No, I don't douche. Why not? Oops. Mm. Do we have any cheats? Maybe I can change. My, I can be this guy. Yeah. So you are now. See, you know, none of the head masks in this game are ever really good. Hey, shut up, man. Don't tell me how to spend my money, all right? If I want to buy thirty grand worth of a wizard porn, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do, all right? Don't tell me I need to come buy your merch because <clears throat> I got to eat it. Buy that <coughs> merch. Buy that merch. I got, I got kids to feed. I got kids to eat. Well, then you should have had so many freaking kids. I'm sorry. I, I'm a budding organism. <laughs> oh, what is oh. happening? <laughs> <laughs> I, like humped the wall a little bit there. So here's a little tip of the pros, Billy. Can you, you ready can you for the tip? Can you beat it up? I didn't even say anything. Tip of the pros. Check this out. Secret tunnel. Oh my god, you would have never known that that was there were it not for me. Welcome back to the Chin Step Chaps walkthrough. <laughs> Taylor's gonna beat this game 100%. Uh, That's what he just told me. Yeah, it's, this game's actually not that hard to beat 100%. She's gonna 100% this game. So if I can 100% hours. it, if I can, I don't know about that. If I can 100% it, then you sure shit can too. Because it's not that hard. So, Billy. Oh. Which one? I know I'm, I'm pretty sure like, I'm positive I asked you this in another episode. What's your favorite Ratchet game? Remind me. First one. First one? Yep. Really? Yep. First one's always been my favorite. I, I swear I thought you said the second one in nope. the other episode. <laughs> no, nope. it's not at all what I said. Don't cut. Don't cut away. And <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite Ratchet game? I mean, I know you probably haven't played a ton of them, but. Yeah, I, I haven't. What's it. your favorite? Probably the second one. So, Bill, which one's your favorite? Oh, yeah. I would probably say I really like the first one, but probably the second one. Something around that <laughs> is probably what I said. But yeah, no, the first one. Definitely. I, Anything else is for chumps. <clears throat> well, then I'm a chump. I like the start of the IP. I like the second one. The also, most. Deadlock. Fuck it, I like all of them. <laughs> I like them all equally, except for number one. Except for all for one. Yeah. That game can fuck right off. <laughs> oh, I like how I have that head in this cutscene. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't have the right head. He's supposed to look excited there. It's a secret. Operation. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did play this game off off camera and beat it again because I was having fun Taylor, with it. Because Taylor Taylor can't hold his fucking groin. Yeah, well, you know what? Every time we play a you game, Taylor's like, you know what? <sighs> Get a fucking sludge on him. You know what? I I don't have a lot of games to play right now. Sure you do. You got a bunch of games. I need games that I want to play. Well, uh, see, that's know. the problem. Um. So when we started playing this, I'm like, that game's fun. I haven't played it in a while. That game's fun. Uh, I'm gonna fucking check it all over. Turns out, well, it turns out you know, we're gonna beat it. It turns out though that like almost all of the levels in this game are remade from the first right. game. Um, not not every single one, but m- almost all of them. So that's that's the, the 
Yeah, that's, that's a lot more flat <laughs> ever since I dropped the, it. That's the caveat of all this, this play through here. The caviar. Yeah, and I couldn't I couldn't wait for the Yakuza. I blew my load on that one, too. Yeah, see? I know. Well, Billy, here's the thing, man. You know, here's the thing, all right? You know, I don't give here's a the shit thing. about your thing. Here's the thing. We record once every, like, three weeks. Two weeks. Like, I can't... I can't not play some of the new games I, I get. All right. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can totally do that. Throw yourself no. into your job, no, in your life, no. like I do. I do that all the time anyway. And then I play the games at nighttime when I'm like relaxing. Clearly, you're not throwing yourself into the job hard enough. If you're not working 24 hours at least every two days, you're not working hard enough. Oh, shit. Yeah, shut up. Yes, yeah, whatever. You gotta kill the sharks. <laughs> wow. Sharks. I'm not putting in at least 48 hours every two days. No. <laughs> Tw- every 12, 12 hours a day. You gotta work 12 hours a day, and then the rest of the time you should be sleeping. Except for four hours. You get four hours to eat and... Poop. Ah! Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Eat <laughs> and poop. Poop. And see see your girlfriend. That's all. You have four hours, so if you're not doing that, you're not being a real career politician. I thought you were going to say Korean. <laughs> Korean. I mean, that would actually be a little closer. <laughs> I thought I thought you were going to say he was Korean. Mr. Zircon. Everybody likes Zircon, I either. Everybody likes the Zirconites. That's my favorite comic book of the late seventies. You're you're clearly not watching enough blacksmithing videos, Taylor, on YouTube, like I am. What? I'm watching a lot of blacksmithing videos on like YouTube. Like actual blacksmithing? Yes, actual blacksmithing. Why? Because I want to blacksmith things. Why? Because I want to. Well, you I work in have... plastic, not metal. Yeah, well, metal is fun. Metal plastic is on its boring. Way... <laughs> plastic is on its way out. <laughs> plastic is so 2002. 2000 late, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, I've been I've been binging on fucking blacksmithing videos. You gonna go on that one? Uh, Forged and fire. Forged and fire. Show? Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Is that what you want to do? I'm gonna I'm gonna make up. Fucking Bowie knife. <laughs> yeah, David Bowie knife. That's like the way you say that. That's funny. We're gonna make a David Bowie knife, and then okay. and then I'll show you because because I'm gonna cut your beard with it. I already cut my beard. Yeah, and well, I'm gonna u- cut it again when I'm done because and I just, it's gonna take some time. And I just used the razor for that. <laughs> Well, I didn't need no fucking elaborate Bowie knife. You're gonna have a Bowie knife happen. Okay. We gonna put some cream you, on you. Are you threatening me? No. <laughs> no, this is not a threat. It's a promise. Okay. It's a difference. Well, Billy, you also promised me the Gibraltar man, and I'm still waiting on that. Yeah. Well, he's a little bit harder to move <laughs> than a Bowie knife. <laughs> All right. He's he's a hundred foot statue of a man yeah. from the 1920s. Maybe, Come buy our shit, say. Actually, probably closer to like the eighteen hundred, like eighteen ninety area. But you know, whatever. Some antics. The dream of the nineties is a lot important. Yep. The dream of the nineties is a lot and but they had a different song for the 1890s, man. So I don't know. The dream of the eighteen nineties is alive and born. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what's gonna happen. And yeah, I don't. I just. I don't have. I don't have the uh, the capital to move the Gibraltar man yet. Yet. Yeah. You're gonna make all that s- that sweet. Oh fuck you! I was in the secret area. You're gonna make all that sick moolah on the Forged and Fire show. Yep. My dad watches that shit. Uh, okay, uh, Jonathan, I see that your handle's a little fucked up. Um, that's gonna cost you some points. Well, yes. that makes sense. Yes, Chef Master. <laughs> that makes perfect <laughs> sense. If your handle's all fucked up... No, I know. ...then you're not gonna give a good cut, and then you're gonna fucking die. Pig. 
I find that interesting that they have a show like that, though, where it's like, you know, forging bladed weaponry. Yeah, just quickly. Yeah, I find that interesting. I went to a store in, in Sarnia. Uh, I forgot what was like it called. A, what the fuck was it called? Is that... I forgot what it was called, but it was basically like Spencer's almost, except a little classier. Is that in like Switzerland or something? No, Sarnia. Yeah. It's in Ontario. It sounds like a... Sarnia? S- sounds like a... Sarnia? It sounds like a Swedish place. Nope. I mean, maybe it is, but it's in Ontario. Um, and we... Uh, we went to, it's basically like a Spencer's, but it was a little, a little bit classier. Not, not by much. But <laughs> not a little not bit. as many ch- kinky Dude, chains and dildos they had, everywhere. They had some sweet fucking T Rex statues, and I'm like, Billy would love this shit. I do like T Rex, but they were like the skeletons, and I'm like, dude, that's what I should get Billy for his birthday. It'd be fucking rad. He'd love it. But it was like eighty bucks. I'm like, no, not spending that much money on that. No. Um, but they had a bunch of bladed weapons there. And they were all, like, honestly, like... I mean, they were clearly, like, novelty-type things. I don't know, like, how... Hangers. Yeah, I don't know how much you could actually cut with them. Probably not. Probably at not at all. But but they looked cool. I mean, for, like, nerd shit, if you're into that sort of thing. I didn't want any of it. I think it all, you know... I have I have swords. But it's like... Um, one of them's a wall hanger. One of them's actually but usable. The, the point is that they were actually relatively cheap. I was actually surprised at how inexpensive they were. Yeah. Especially considering that all those dollar values were Canadian. Yeah. So it's like, you know, they were actually... Like, some of them were like 60 bucks or something like that. You know, or they're cheap. Yeah, but it's like mostly wall hanger type shit. Yeah, my... I bought two. My... 19... Uh, 19... Uh, bought six. Uh, my... Uh, actually, my 18... 18... God, what was it? This is riveting. <laughs> 1890 patent uh, officer's saber. Uh-huh. Calvary officer saber. Uh huh. Uh, that one's the wall hanger. You gonna go up and uh, chop some, you know, packages of water bottles with them? No, no, because it's a wall hanger. She did. <laughs> did you? You've seen those videos, right? Of that one. <laughs> There's like a really big, like fat dude, <laughs> and he fucking. <laughs> He's got videos of him, like, on his driveway, and somebody's obviously filming him, like, so it's not like he just, like, sets up the camera and does it himself. He's, he's got, a, like, some one of his buddies, like, filming him, and he just goes out and buys, like, packages, like, the big 24 packs of water bottles. He sets them up, and he just fucking cuts them in half with his samurai swords. It's hilarious, dude. I hate, and he thinks I hate he's, fucking Catalas. Yeah, and he thinks he's so badass and shit. <laughs> I mean, it's like, hey man, if that's what you're like doing, that's fine, but it's yeah. hilarious. You should look it up, dude. If you can find it. It's so funny. <laughs> and it's such a waste of water, like. Yeah. That's what it's like, fucking, that, you know, people in Flint need that. <laughs> yeah, dude. because like, you could have sent that to Flint. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. And then my uh, my Roman Gladius style one costs four hundred dollars. Jesus, is that the functional one? Yes. Oh. I could uh, I could sharpen it more to make it far sharper, but I need like a good like like three hundred and then four hundred grit kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like you got to think of it from a practical standpoint too, like. I don't know. Why would you sharpen it if you're not using it for anything? Unless you use it to to skin your apples in the morning. I could I could go and cut some water bottles. Yeah, but why? (laughs) Because then people will be like, "Wow, Bill, you're so cool, Bill. (laughs) You're so (laughs) hot. You're so (laughs) hot." And then just while they're blowing. Yeah. You're cutting it while you're... I'm cutting more and more. Yeah, you're like, you're like, watch your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep it, keep it close. <laughs> and then she's... <laughs> and she just... And then Anne walks, Anne walks out, and she's just like, what, yeah. what the fuck is going on? 
God! I'm, Who is this? I'm sh- I'm sh- I'm I'm cutting water. And she's like, oh my god, you're so hot. <laughs> Pushes that. <laughs> <laughs> you and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> Some kids are uh, like, walking by and they're like, driving by on their bikes and you're like, what's up? <laughs> just standing. <laughs> cock down throat. Yeah. Cutting water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the idea of you cutting water bottles. It's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, you gotta find that video. It's hilarious. Uh, we'll watch it in between. I mean, we're almost done here yeah. anyway. This episode. Well, well next time on Chin Strip Chaps, we're gonna watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs>